Ruben, how you doing? I'm doing good. Well. Yeah. Well, um, obviously, it's been a very eventful off season for you. Yeah. How would you uh, How would you describe what you What you faced? You know what What happened this off season? Uh, everybody know what happened. Um, yeah, no, it's true. We play, it's clear that we see, you know, on, on the news. Was it a learning experience for you? I mean, oh yeah, you it was a big learning experience. You know, I learned from every mistake, every everything that been said. You know, every, all my flaws. You know, learned from a lot of things. I just grew from it. Does it give you a, a different appreciation being out here now, Ruben? Maybe that you didn't have before and didn't know where, where your career might be going a few, only a few months ago? Made me appreciate football a lot better, man. Like, it's, 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 it was crazy knowing that, you know, football can be gone. But, you know, just being back on this field with my brothers and these coaches, man, is, is a blessing. Was there a point where you thought that your 49ers career might be over, your, your NFL career might be over? Mm, yeah, you know. But you know, they stood. They stood. They stood by me, as as family bit. should. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about how much how valuable Richard Sherman's been to you as a mentor? <laughs> that's, that's 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 real. That's that's like real. That's, he's a man for that. Like I respect Richard Sherman for that. Like coming to court, supporting me, you know, and just being there for me at the hard times. He don't know truth or false, you know. But at the same times, he waited patience just like me. I think that the, the worst day for us on the outside at least seemed to be the day that you were charged, had to come to court, and you couldn't really, you couldn't really fight back that day yet. You couldn't really say anything, and that's the day that Richard showed up. And how, you probably didn't even know him that well yet. How much did that mean on that kind of dark day to have those guys have your back? And my brother, and like I say, like, it meant a lot. It meant the world. Like, you know, when you get down, like, it brought me up, spirits. That's respect. During the uh, preliminary hearing, you were vindicated by the testimony. Did you feel a big sense of relief uh, after that, just knowing how the case probably was going to turn? I'm playing football, right? Yeah. It's, it's great. It's a blessing. What's the takeaway for you? Like, what, what did you learn through this? Or what? How can you enact things in the future to keep you out of situations like you, know, you faced you had yourself faced with this off season? I learned like every day I gotta go harder like at everything I do now like to better myself even more like I gotta like it's like do or die just don't mess up like the fastest it go like that I need to do that, like, on my job, playing football. It's like trying to craft my football. I got to craft my life and go hard at it. Ruben, now being able to just focus on things between the lines of the football field, how are things progressing now that it's your second year in training camp? Feel good. Do you, do you feel like it's, it's you know, like, uh, Look, for, for, for example, Joe Staley talked about, you know, having a continuity now. Um, with this uh, coaching staff, it's, it's making it easier than not, not having to learn new verbiage and whatnot. So is it is it easier not you know having to go through all the rookie stuff this season? Oh no, 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 that's 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 real easy. Like not going against the rookie stuff, and I got more time to focus on you know football. But you know it's you know the rookie's doing a great job of handling handling himself. You know. Ruben, at any time during the allegations, did you think that? Damn, I may not be able to play football again because of this. And how did that put you? What kind of mindset? And then what got you out of that mind frame as the allegations started to go away? I feel like I don't know, dog. I, I really don't know what you know. Like, did you think that man one day the thing that I love to do, playing football, that may be taken away from me? Did that thought cross your mind at all? Yeah, it did. Of course, it did. You know. You're a very upbeat person. You know, you're always smiling. You're always having a good time. Um, emotionally, how are you able to handle this? Sure, just stand up tall, hold your head up high. You know, everything ain't gonna hurt. You know, I read, I, I, I reached rock bottom before. It's just, you know, you gotta hold strong and just, you know, it's just gonna, everything gonna be all right, and just play a part of it. Baby.
right from the start, Ruben, uh, John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan seem to defend you. Um, they also couched it saying if you mess up, then they can't do that anymore. Is that the message that came through to you as well? That's the message that came through, and I respected it. You know, it, it's, you know I respected it because if I did, who? Yeah, but if, you know, it just, they stood by me, though, you know, a brother, brotherhood. Ruben Kyle was talking about how they're trying to work with you on a new technique and, you know, using your shoulders less and using your hands more, keep you in the game, get you away from those shoulder stingers that, that took you out of a couple of series last year. I mean, how is that going and for you right now? I was going, it's going great, you know. It's just trying to play a part, you know, just – Get on the weights more, um, focusing in, focusing in on my position, and just use hands and not, you know, of course, shoulders. Like, why is that important? Um, the career, for your career, like, just for a longer career. It, it seemed like in uh, today's practice, it started with the one-on-one -on -one coverage drills. Uh, you did pretty well, knocking a couple guys to the ground right away. Oh yeah. And then team drills, though, McKinnon caught one on you, and you were stomping your feet. And Discussed. Yeah, I think they threw the practice today. What that was like getting back in pads. I felt great, you know, playing football. You know, playing football with your brothers, just get all, all of us gathering around. You know, you tired, but you know he tired with you. So, just being with them guys and showing them love and showing them hard times too. When you you know knock them on the ground, sometimes I get knocked on the ground. You know, by some of my teammates, but hey. They show me love, and I just know that, you know, we're just trying to get each other better. you got a new uh, inside linebackers coach, position coach. What, what's that relationship been like with D'Amico, and, and how has he been for, for support? Oh, it's, it's, been, it's been great, you know. He supported me on and off the field, you know. You know, come, came a long way, you know, from, you know, being in the room with Johnny Highland and coming in the room with us, like the head man and the head hunter. And now, you know, I just – I respect him for that, you know. He's not that much older than you. I mean, he, he was playing football just a couple of years ago. I mean, is, is that a big thing for you guys to have somebody who did it at such a high level, you know, so recently in his career? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I tell him every day you still got it. Like today at practice, he like to put me on my butt. But um, he he still got it. And it mean a lot just for him coaching me. Like, it mean a lot. He's also an Alabama guy. Yeah, also Alabama guy and a pro bowl. How do you balance uh, the, the the change in technique? You want to use your hands more, but you still want to be able to wrap up and you want to avoid arm tackles. So, so how do you avoid you know that while still trying to use your hands more? Well, you try to avoid arm, arm tackling, but shoot, I, I get my hands on you. I ain't gonna try to let I ain't gonna let you go. Who's <laughs> <laughs> really impressive to Brett Warner? Young man out of BYU, Fred Warner. He made a playoff. Oh, Fred is awesome. Like Fred is, is a good rookie. Like great, well, great rookie. Let me, let me upscale my boy. <laughs> He's a great rookie. Well, while you were away from the team facility, were you able to continue working out the way that, that you wanted to? Did you just find another gym, or, or how did that all work out? Uh, just trying to just stay focused mentally, really, and. Spiritually and just go work out like every day, you know. Workouts, workouts, peaceful to the mind, right? Yeah. Right. Y'all agree. Mm -hmm. So, do you feel you came more? out of this in in really good shape this off season because you did have a chance to just focus on on working out? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I came in. I came in pretty, pretty stoked, you know. <laughs> <laughs> pretty. <laughs> but I came in right though. What was your reaction when the suspension came down? The, the two games. Was that something you were expecting? Were you surprised? What was your reaction from that? Mm. It's painful, you know. It's football. It's something I do, something I love. Um, but it is what it is, you know. Except the consequence, you move on. You, you take it and you move on. You know, you learn from it too, and you grow from it. So I ain't worrying about. I'm just gonna suck it up and, and fight it, and just knowing that my brothers and them are gonna be out of field, just doing them, you know, doing what they do best, you know. When we when we heard from other people in that courtroom. Haven't heard from you. Did you do anything wrong? I respect I respect your answer. I respect well your question. I respect your question because but hey, it's I'm, I don't feel like talking about it, dog. I really don't. Like yeah, right or wrong or whatever. Yeah, but people criticized me, thought I was wrong, but I'm not just gonna 
be able to fuel up no more. Like, uh, yeah. can, can you explain what it's like to deal with that criti one, criticism without being able to get your side of the story out? It was hard. It was hard. You can't say nothing at all. Don't know nothing. But, you know, just listen to the fans or whatever. But knowing that I got people behind me, like the coaches, my brothers, them texting me, family members who got my back. Like it just feel it feel good when you have somebody for you. But other than that, it, it was hard. But small thing to a giant. All right, all right. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys.